Lewis McGugan's season has been as frustrating as Forrest's, with a thigh problem restricting him to just two appearances. But the youngster will hit the comeback trail tonight when he plays in the reserves against Walsall, and he's delighted to be back in action. It took longer than I, f I first thought it would. Uh, there's been a couple of setbacks, but uh, hopefully uh, I'll come through tomorrow night uh, all being well, and uh, we can kick on from there just to put that kit on again and, and actually you know, play on that pitch really. Uh, but obviously I've just got to be careful and obviously just be steady and, and just and just see myself into the game. Uh, and then hopefully it will all come back, really. McGugan has missed nine games with the injury he initially sustained in pre-season. The first time I felt some it was uh, the Burton game. Uh, which was, you know, and then it was it was... It was since then, obviously the game since then, it wasn't 100% right, uh, but it was one of them where you just where you just play through it and you thought it would just it would just eventually just uh, drift away really. Uh, but uh, obviously it didn't, and I was making it probably making it worse playing on it. Uh, and then obviously I played the first two games, but the Swansea game was probably the last straw really. Uh, I was really really uncomfortable after the game, and uh, I knew then I had to I had to sit out and really assess it and uh, see what the damage was really. It was originally thought McGugan would only be sidelined for a couple of weeks, but the extent of the problem proved far more serious. When I heard that news, I was, I was a bit down as well, but uh, the doc said the, the muscle, the actual muscle it is, it's, it's everything, everything, all your kicking, especially, and I do whip the ball a lot, obviously, with my set pieces and that, and, and that's the main muscle, what, what you go through, really. Uh, so you just got to be extra careful. And it was one of them, if I'd, if I come back a bit too early and it had gone completely, uh, then it would be a real, real, real long layoff. So, but is he confident he's ready for a return to the rigours of match action? Uh, to be honest, it's the it's the best it's felt since since the pre-season really, <laughs> that far back, and uh, hopefully it just it goes through and everything's all right uh, in tomorrow's game, and uh, I have no reactions to it, and uh, really coming Wednesday and we'll take it from there. Life has been tough so far for Forrest in the Championship and McGugan is desperate to try and help haul them off the foot of the table. Obviously, obviously you try and enjoy him, but obviously we all know what position we are in and we all know we need to win and, and sometimes it gets a lot frustrating, especially from, from the crowd really. Uh, and, and you do wish you could be on there and try and, do, and, try and help the team. Uh, but uh, hopefully now uh, everything's all, all the bad news is gone and... Uh, Hopefully I can uh, get back in. Joe Garner and Paul Anderson look set to join McGugan in the reserves this evening. They're also returning from injuries and the midfielder knows just how big an impact they can make. The likes of Ando and Garns, it's like a new signing really. Uh, everyone's waiting for him to, to come at, and they're flying really and they're really, really, really looking good. Uh, and obviously Ernie's, Ernie's not too far off. So, you know what I mean, in the next two weeks everything will be coming to shape and I think Obviously, the gaffer's got a lot more to pick from. I think as soon as, as soon as we get that first win, even a couple of wins on our belt, I think we'll be fine. And I think we'll kick on from there. Obviously, we've uh, we've lost quite a lot on the bounce, but all it takes is that little run, five, six games on the bounce, and then you, you're right back in there. McGugan has his sights set on a return to first-team action on the day he turns 20. Probably QPR will probably be too early. I probably need another reserve game after that, probably... Uh, a bit longer, uh, and then if that if, if that goes to plan, uh, hopefully we'll be all right. I'm I'm looking to be back for the birthday, uh, which is the Cardiff game. So uh, that's probably the the main target, the realistic target. You'll be able to see how McGugan and Forest reserves fare with extended highlights of the game at the City Ground later in the week.